A jingle bell swing and jingle bells ring Snowing and blowing a bushels of fun Now the jingle hop has begun Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock A jingle bell's chime in jingle bell time Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square In the frosty air What a bright time, it's the right time Go gliding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. A jingle around the clock. Mix and a mingle in the jingling beat. That's the jingle bell. Good morning, Dobie Longhorns. I'm Abigail Taylor, and welcome to JFD TV for Friday, December 11th. Here's reporters Alanis Macias and Catherine Mezlanka with the popular segment we bring back around the holidays. The month of giving and receiving is here. We did an experiment to see which one you would choose. like some of you are in the spirit of giving. Reporting for JFT TV, I'm Catherine Maslanka. And I'm Alanis Macias. We all want to give a special someone a perfect gift for Christmas. Here's Brenda Orivides and Valerie Cantu with some ideas. We're presenting you top five gifts for your boyfriend, your best friend, and your family members. Starting, starting with top five, cologne. Basically, it's good for hygiene and personal use, and why wouldn't you like cologne? Everyone loves for a guy to smell good, so. Next is number four. Shoes! For example, Nike, Adidas, Jordans, and Gucci flip-flops. Get on it! Going to number three. A watch. I mean, who doesn't like a little bling on them? Everyone loves bling on their wrist. Going to number two. A wallet. A guy always has to have his money somewhere safe. He can't have it just yeah. hanging Fly in his out, pockets everywhere. In a Ziploc bag. Like, who does that? <laughs> People do that. Ending it with number one. A concert. Not only is it a great present for him, but it's also great for both of y'all because y'all both get to have fun. Here's some upcoming concerts that you might be interested in. Such as Kendrick Lamar, The Weeknd, and Travis Scott. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Bruno Yudavides. I'm Valerie Cantu. The holidays are all about giving back. And this year, you have a chance to give items to a family in need. Here's Jennifer Trong with more. Student Council is hosting an event where different Adobe organizations adopt a family for Christmas. Tell us about the Adopt a Family event. Um, this year for Christmas, Student Council is doing a thing called Random Acts of Kindness, and basically we have a lot of organizations um, like getting a family, and we're all donating each an item for all the families, and it'll be next Wednesday, December 17th, and um, all the families will come, we'll have food for them, and we'll all get to like share all the presents for them, and it'll be really great. Uh, we're also inviting all the school to uh, come by and donate any appetizers or anything y'all can to Ms. Johnson's room at 252. Make sure to come by room 252 during a lunch on Monday if you're interested in donating food to the event. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Jennifer Trong. Now with sports, here's Catherine Maslanka. I'm Catherine Maslanka, and your Longhorn Sports Report starts now.
Soccer season starts over winter break. Sports director Jacob Garcia has the details. What are some goals you have for your team this year? Well, our goals for this year is, to, I mean, of course, number one, to win district. I mean, we've come a long way. We worked hard all off season, and we got to win district first. It's very strong, very solid. We expect to go further in playoffs. We're playing very well, uh, getting some touches on the ball, playing good defense. And overall, I think we're going to do just great. Be sure to wish your Adobe Longhorn soccer team good luck as they kick off their season. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Jacob Garcia. Our varsity girls team is preparing for their upcoming season as well. Here's reporter Jamie Perez with a quick look. The time stolen from us. Love, we can bring it on the floor. Never dance like this before. We don't talk about it. What are your goals for this season? Um, we want to win district. We haven't won in a long time, so it'd be a really good year to do that. And to have great communication throughout on and off the field. To break the Dobie curse and make it past first round playoffs. Don't forget to wish the girls good luck. Reporting for JBD TV, I'm Jamie Perez. Varsity Boys Basketball had another thrilling overtime game this week. Reporter Matt Rivera has the scoop. Me and my team gotta intervene. What's the point of living if you ain't living a dream? We live in a world where everybody won everything. Everybody want a better thing. Trying to feel you like it's picture perfect, but it's just the editing. But I was working on a budget. Second time around, said it's different. Cause they know that boy good. No, he doesn't. This week, boys basketball played against Parallel. After a long and hard fight, they were unfortunately defeated 72 to 68. You know, we just let our guard down. We was up 17 uh, going into halftime. We just let up and we didn't do what we were supposed to do. You know, um, these guys, they're, they're going to be big, you know, um, and we just got to tag and box out and make sure, you know what I'm saying, everybody's doing the right thing. Be above it unless you're thinking your profession going to be rap. Matter of fact, you should take a step back because I run it. The boys play here against Manville tonight. Be sure to come out and support. We're point for JFT TV. I'm Mateo Rivera. The girls were also in action against Paraland and had a difficult game. Reporter Nino Hobbs has the highlights. I was running through the six with my walls. Yeah. I was running through the six with my walls. New to this. Wouldn't make it on this side. I'm not new to this. I'm not new. I'm not new. The Lady Longhorns took a loss against the Paraland Oilers. Even with the fight they gave in the fourth quarter, the final score was 46-54. How do you bounce back from a loss like you took Tuesday? Well, I tell you, first of all, I mean, we did lose the game, but I really was impressed with how we played. I loved our energy. I loved the way we got after it. I thought it was very, very consistent. Go see the Lady Longhorns defeat Manville today. Reporting for JSD TV, I'm Nina Hobbs. That'll do it for your Longhorn Sports Report. Back to Abigail in the studio. Thanks, Catherine. Our reporters Marcella Pena and George Rojas have a new segment called Trailered. JFD TV is always looking for new, talented people to join. Here's Amanda Javilaw and Karen Rodriguez with a look at what being a cast member is all about. JFD TV is phenomenal. It is one of the best organizations on campus and we really get to interact a lot with other organizations. Okay, I joined JFD TV because I really like being in front of a camera. I really like all the behind the scenes stuff and it's what I want to do. Being in JFD TV really helps. It builds our confidence and it really helps us being on screen and in front of the entire school. I think it's a really great way to meet new people. It's just a really great environment for anyone basically. And you should join. Stop by room 507 to pick up and return an application which are due by December 15th. Our outstanding debate team went to a big tournament in Austin and our reporter Brandon Flores has the highlights. Uh, this is the anthem. Told the world I need everything and some. Got it all, yeah, I'm young, rich, and handsome. Dab on me, dab on three, one, two, three. Dab. Okay. Now nah, I'm matching it. Put the hours in and stay passionate. Wasn't blowing money, I was stacking it. Pay attention, none of this is happening by accident. Listen, I don't slack a bit. Game plan solid, no cracks in it. 
This past weekend, our Adobe debate team competed at the University of Texas in Austin. But I'm gracious for this opportunity. It was intense. Yeah. It really, man, hard work. I I'm speechless. I'm feeling sensational. Just goes to show only the best of the best are victorious. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Brandon Flores. That will do it for JFD TV. Make sure to check out our channels on YouTube and Vimeo, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at JFD TV. We hope you have a good day, and we'll see you back here next week.